Uh, my mouth is watering right now, actually. It's 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 it's, uh, it's salivating, salivating, right? Uh, I'm gonna go in for it. I'm taking too long, right? Salivating, salivating. That's the word. <laughs> What's good, YouTube, and welcome back to Food Ties and another episode of The Last Diet Bender, the best health food review series on YouTube. I'm Kenton. Today, I'll be reviewing a pretty dope product today by the brand Legendary Foods. So we have a protein pop tart here. All right, pretty crazy. I got the I got the brown sugar cinnamon flavor. Now, if you like pop tarts, I mean, this is going to be a good episode for you because. While I don't really eat pop tarts like that, I have tried it. I like some of them. And so I'm going to just see if this is comparable to the cinnamon one. So if you try the cinnamon one, I'm going to see if it's comparable to it. So as usual, we're going to hop right into this review. Not going to waste any time. Get into these nutrition facts and see what this tastes like. All right, so already it doesn't look like it's going to be too big. Um, but, but about the same size as a pop tart. So that's the same. Ooh, and they're already throwing shade here. They got... A regular toaster pastry which you know pretty much just means pop-tart versus their legendary brand and so in this whole thing it's only 170 calories compared to a regular toaster pastry which is gonna have about 210 this has three grams net carbs uh, less than a gram of sugar nine grams of protein versus the regular pastry toaster toaster pastry 35 grams net carbs 15 grams sugar and only two grams of protein Main ingredients contain almond flour, protein blend, uh, erythritol, soluble corn fiber, sunflower oil, etc. So, main thing is it contains almonds and milk. Let's open up this thing. Ooh, okay. Not too bad, not too bad. That's what it looks like. Boom, boom. Ooh. So if you're familiar with my reviews, you know I have to try it on its own first. Then I'm going to heat it up so I can give that final review. Uh, I'm just going to get into it right now. It smells really good. Definitely smell that cinnamon. Uh, my mouth is watering right now, actually. It's, 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 uh, it's salivating, salivating, right? Uh, I'm going to go in for it. I'm taking too long, right? Salivating. Salivating. That's the word. Okay. I like this a lot. It, I, what I like about it is that it has like this, it has a nice buttery taste to it. It's not overly sweet. Um, it's the perfect right amount of sweetness and I do taste the cinnamon pretty well. This is not bad at all. I have nothing bad to say about this. But I would say my biggest, my favorite thing about this is it does taste, I don't know, it's kind of buttery. I, like, I just like the pastry. I like the pastry. If anything, I like the pastry more than anything. Um, and then the filling just kind of like is a good blend. Um, not too much. It's a thin layer as you can see. So I don't, I don't know how much more Pop Tarts will have. Pop Tarts has a pretty thin layer as well too. So they're about the same. Uh, this tastes pretty damn good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna heat this up. I'm gonna toast it actually, and then try it again to get my final review. And we're back. All right. So toasting this actually was not the best idea. Um, just because of the icing, it kind of oozed off. I should have thought about that first. But regardless, um, you can kind of see like it kind of burned a little bit here. But um, I'm going to try it warmed up anyway. Mm. Mm, that's nice. That's nice. This is a solid product. It's tasty. It is, the, the, again, the pastry has a nice buttery taste to it, especially warmed up like this. This takes it to another level. I actually give this an 8.5. No, it's pushing a nine. Like, if it were bigger, if it, like, I'll give this a nine. It's just a little bit too small. Um, I'd have to have two of these for sure. But all right, though. Thanks for watching another episode of The Last Diet Bender, and stay tuned for another review where I put you on more of that nutritional game.